Hello! In this second video addressing how to solve trigonometric integrals, we will explore how we approach integrals involving even powers of sine and cosine. You'll recall we are discussing and applying techniques of integration to trigonometric integrals which take the form the integral of the sine of ax to the mth power times the cosine of ax to the nth power dx, where m and n are non-negative integers. In this case, we will look at when m and n are both even non-negative integers, and we will use the half-angle formulas to change the form of the functions. Specifically, we will use cosine squared theta equals 1 plus cosine of 2 theta divided by 2, and sine squared theta is equal to 1 minus the cosine of 2 theta divided by 2. Let's consider the definite integral from 1 fourth to 3 fourths of 4 cosine of 2 pi y raised to the fourth power dy, which we can equivalently write, rewrite this integral as the definite integral from 1 fourth to 3 fourths of 4 times the cosine of 2 pi y squared quantity squared dy. We will now use our half angle formula for cosine and replace cosine squared of 2 pi y with 1 plus the cosine of 4 pi y all over 2. And we can do this because we know that in the half angle formula we're letting theta be 2 times pi times y. So therefore we make our substitution. We have the integral from 1 fourth to 3 fourths of so 4 times the quantity 1 plus cosine of 4 pi y divided by 2 quantity squared dy. We will now expand the integrand and do some simplification and we get that we have the integral from 1 fourth to 3 fourths of 1 plus 2 times the cosine of 4 pi y plus the cosine squared of 4 pi y dy. And we see again that we have an even power of cosine, so we will apply the half angle formula again, but this time letting theta equal 4 times pi times y, so that the cosine squared of 4 pi y is equal to 1 plus cosine of 8 pi y all divided by 2. And we now transform our integral to be the definite integral from 1 fourth to 3 fourths of 1 plus 2 cosine of 4 pi y plus 1 plus cosine of 8 pi y all over 2 dy. We can combine the 1 and the 1 half and we can now integrate and we get 3 halves y plus 2 times the sine of 4 pi y all over 4 pi plus the sine of 8 pi y all over 16 pi. And if you'd like to, you could make a substitution here with u being 4 pi y, and maybe here um, let w equal 8 pi y, if that's helpful to finish those integrals. When we evaluate at the left and right endpoints, we get that that definite integral is equal to 3 fourths. So let's review some of the big ideas. To successfully evaluate trigonometric integrals, you must be fluent with the trigonometric identities and the half angle formulas. Recall that the important trigonometric identities will apply are the cosine squared theta plus sine squared theta is equal to 1, or 1 plus tangent squared theta is equal to secant squared theta. We also must know the half angle formulas. Cosine squared theta is equal to 1 plus cosine of 2 theta divided by 2, and sine squared theta is equal to 1 minus cosine of 2 theta divided by 2. And again, make sure you practice these techniques. Efficiency in recognizing which steps to take really comes with practicing a variety of problems and doing so by hand.